Okay, so we're gonna talk about using these viewboards. So this is a view. view uh, yep. This is that's a viewboard. Mm -hmm. We also have one that's unplugged back there that we will plug in if you guys want to try it out at the same time, so we can have multiple people on multiple ones. So this one's here all the time. That one's on wheels, but it usually lives all the way over there. There are is one downstairs, and there will be more upstairs when the upstairs is open, and in the conference room. Oh, I forgot about that one. So there's a lot of viewboards. <laughs> They're so, really fun to play with. They are very fun to play with. So let's see. So I'm Kaden, and this is Julia. Yeah, so Hi. we work for instructional design team, and this is what we do. We just teach people how to use technology. We also make content for different types of like <coughs> presentations like yeah. this. So this is what we do, and we have a lot of 3D printers. So if you walk past that desk, we often are sitting there. Yes. Looking lonely with stickers. So, so please come ask us things if you have questions. <laughs> yes. I did fix a printer once. Wow. So, yeah. I've told people what time the building closes. Exactly. We're great. Uh, that day it was midnight. I was like, I have no idea midnight. what time it is. I couldn't tell. Because it's Thursday. <laughs> okay, so just like some goals for this, just learning how to use it and like learning like the interactive parts of using it. Because like you can learn how to turn it on, but like you're you learning how to use it for your own personal needs. Like presentation or study skills can be important when you want to use them. Ah, because this is also boring and ugly. So when we have view boards, you can stop doing this. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, you can stop doing this. So here we have like this. This is bad, and it's hard to look at. But we can make edits on the viewboard while you're presenting, which is a fun, silly little thing you can do with it. So, oh, yeah. So then we just have like presentation skills up here um, that we were gonna focus on, and then we had viewboards. So then we kind of went away from that a little bit. But the viewboards help really to support positive presentation skills and decrease some negative presentation faux pas, if you will. So let's show you how to use it. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me disconnect for you. Okay. Okay. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of things that you can do on the viewboard. I'm going to steal a pen. So okay. you can either use your pen or you can use your finger on it. Kaden doesn't like when people use their fingers on it because it makes it messy. We need to but sometimes you have to. It kind of depends. So you can use the camera on here. We won't really do that Connects right now. to the big camera but up yeah. there. So you can record things, take pickies if you want. Um, in this nice little toolbox, there's some sticky notes. So you can pick what kind of sticky note you want. You can either write or you can type. So say, homework. And then you click off of it, and it's up there. So it tells you what you have to do. So then when you're done, you can come over here and cross off what you did. Yay. <laughs> um, what else can we do? You can pull up tools. So if you need some nice math tools, that's nice. They're fun. I like using the protractor. Cause Double click. Thank yep. you. So then you can move these around if you're not too short like me. <laughs> and then just adjust. Maybe. Yep. Doesn't want to do it, Kaden. Pen. Pen. And then drag it. It's not doing it. I want to write. It. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Yay. Uh, you can pull up YouTube videos. That works. I looked up cat videos the other day. Mm. As long as our Wi-Fi works, it'll work. It's like prime Wi-Fi time. Yeah. So here we go. We can watch videos of cats. Nice. <laughs> um, you can also pull up Chrome on here. Yep. So, things that we've seen a lot of people do are pull up the map games. That's my favorite thing to do on it. Uh, yes, very nice. But whatever you need to do on there, you can do. Oops, get out of here. And then you can have a lot of different writing features, which is fun. So there's a pen, highlighter. There's this nice little AI pen. I love the AI pen. <laughs> um, so pretty much, if you draw something. Draw a bunny. OK.
So now we have some, well, it didn't look like a bunny apparently because it gave me a cat. But here's a cat. So you can move that around. You can color those in. Super fun. Um, you can also write in certain shapes for some reason. So that's nice. Don't know why you would need to, but you can. And then however you erase is just, which I really like. It's really satisfying. Um, eraser tools down there also. It's a lot of fun different shapes. I also like that they have numbers, so all you like sciencey people can do your diagrams if you don't want to draw them. Um, there's also 3D shapes, so that's cool. We can make a nice little sphere. Oh, mm -hmm. here we go. Um, but these are nice if you want to like make graphs and things. Like I was like, oh my gosh, you can make a nice little Venn diagram for your little homework. So that's fun. Um, text box. So I'm gonna I'm gonna steal this yeah. for a second. Okay. If we go into different shapes and you pull, you just pull a shape, right? You can use the little arrow select and you have to use your finger to select yeah. it. I always forget that. It's yeah. a little, little glitchy on that. I'm getting used to it. You can change the colors inside or, or outside. Um, and then you also have advanced colors. So if you want to make it your, your favorite color, purple, we can, we can do that for you. Magic. I was there. I was on that wavelength. I was there. So, we also have a tool that you can. Where is it? Yep. Okay. So, you can also, like, obviously rotate, move it about, whatever you. Don't do that. Don't do that. But also, so if you noticed, it's kind of it's weird because we can only do certain things with the pen and only do certain things with your finger. So, if you hit the marker and you click something with the pen you're gonna write in that exact way if you click it with your finger that's how you're gonna write so I can still write in two shades at once but if you wanna save me some sanity and not get little smudge prints all over it the back of the pen also works as your finger so you can imagine that was like really deep intellectual stuff right there um, also if you click Eh, click as a highlighter. I'm writing my deep intellectual work, highlighting it with that part or just with my hand. Mm -hmm. That's a very silly feature I learned this week. Thanks. Up to you. Um, so you can also create new pages if you want to keep working on multiple things at once. Super nice. And you can delete the pages you had. So yes, delete that page. Um, my intellectual work. Sorry. Um, so there's also some fun things you can do with the background, which Tom taught me yesterday, and I love. Did you see these? Mm -hmm. I love. Okay, so music people, you can get your music scales. We have some maps, some note cards. My favorite part is that there's actually sports. So you can draw little plays if you're like me and you're on the soccer team. Super fun. Here's me and Ghoul. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's super fun. Um, you can also, not that, how do we go home? Home, home, home. Up there, top right. Thank you, it hides. The one issue we have, <laughs> being 5'2", is yeah. hitting that X. So <laughs> you can actually record on these. So, maybe. It's over. Ah, yes, so record. You choose what size you want to record in, yes. So then we can go to wherever we want to go to and then do whatever you want to do on here. So we're writing, hi, and then stop recording. Wherever we want to go to. My nice voice on camera, love that. So we can get rid of that. <laughs> you don't want to keep that forever? No, no. we don't want that. So, yeah, yep. um, and if you want to keep that, you can either insert a USB, like a thumb drive, so you can keep it that way, or you can actually sign in and do it that way, which I forget where it is right now. Vcast, maybe? Mm. When you go home, if you, yeah, you'll have to yeah. insert a thumb drive, or you can use a USB. Because tap here for first use, so yeah. you can sign up this way, and then it yeah. can go straight to your computer. You can also use the HDMI cord into your computer. You just need to make sure it lines up. 
So, I know we pointed out the one flaw there, but there are other, can you hit the home for me? If I can find home, yeah. Just hit down, there you go, home. Perfect. So there are other accessible things that I love about this. So let's go to display, because this is the one that really gets me. <laughs> um, the blue light, so your eyeballs don't have to hurt. And I want this to be on everything, all of the time. But also this one is, I put this on, if you plug that other one in, this is already on it because I made it. Um, but it takes it so paper care. So like when you're reading your Kindle at the beach and it doesn't hurt your eyes, it's because it has this on it, which makes it easier when you're presenting to people who have like concussions. Like we're all doing the sport things. You know how that is. So yeah, a little rough. But if you're like, I don't like it, I can't see. Okay. And we just turn it off, but it is easily accessible by hitting this little arrow here where you also have other accessible features. Like if you needed to go back here, home, um, you can clear out. You have all of the things that are on the home screen already there. This pulls up your whiteboard and then the pen if you want to just, if it likes me today. Yep, there it goes. Pen on there and settings. So there are more things that you can do also that I love so much. I, I can't tell if you, if you can't tell, I am like obsessed right now with this. So there's a little flashlight that you can use to focus on things which is just, it's so silly, and I love it. So if you only want people to look at a certain part of your slide, but you don't want them to focus, like read ahead, which is an issue I have a lot with students, that they want to get everything done, that's an awesome tool. Also, if you want to know how long you're going, and how long you're talking, and how long you can keep people in the back engaged, <laughs> this time around. So if I tap and let's say I go to do something else, it stays at the bottom and it'll stay running the entire time. So if Tom's back there and he says, you have to do this in the next 10 minutes. Or if you're making a Pecha Kucha that has to be exactly six minutes and 40 seconds long. Yeah, we know someone who made us do that. So similarly to that, so similarly, they, there are like little alarms. Oh, yep. So you can set it for the next minute. Um, but I do war want to warn you that there is a remote with them. If the volume is loud, it will hurt your ears. Um, and it will be like a big jump scare because I never really know what that's going to hurt me. So I always double check that. Um, and then you can obviously take a screenshot. That saves here. So if you have a USB-C, it'll plug in there. Yeah. Go ahead, Julia. Those are, just, really all, those are my. I think. Do we have anything else we, that yeah. I should cover? So, do you have any questions? Because there's a lot of playing around to learn how to use it. We see a lot of people using them for like studying. So like, we had people editing forum posts and like editing them and papers on here a few weeks ago. Studying map quizzes is something that we do a lot. We do Just do for that. fun, because you know. Because um, it's important to know what countries are in Europe. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can also pull up, if you go on the Chrome here, BuzzFeed quizzes, obviously. Um, they're very easy to navigate. It's just like it when it's on your iPhone. But um, really, really big. But huge. So if you wanted to do a, that was good. That was yeah, good. Thanks. Now we know. Thanks. Now we know you know the states. Yeah. So things like this. Um, but also when you do presentations, you can plug in HDMI. You can also connect with your laptop showing the steps we showed you earlier. Um, and this is just a way, so if you, if we wanted, Rowan, do you want to come up here for a second? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. You're here and I know you and I know you'll participate. So if you're teaching a class and you want to be integrated, you can say, Rowan, can you come up here and find the state Tennessee? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Oh my gosh. Tennessee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little plate. I think it's yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just touch yeah. it, and you're, and you're set. So you can have multiple people interacting at once. So if you stay up here, there are actually two pens. I will turn on the writing thing for you. Hold on. Yep. So you can identify, you can draw an arrow to the state you just got to. Okay. Well, at the same time Julia does it, you can both draw the arrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that feels really nice. Yeah, it does. It feels nice. 
Do you want to go erase it? Do you want to try erase it? Yeah. Just That's my favorite part. Yep. Is yep. Just wipe yep. your hand Full over hand. it. Yep. Full hand. Full hand. Yep. Mhm. Mm yep. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Thank you so much. So that's a cool thing. If you want to have people, you can split the screen and you have someone working on one side, someone working on another, showing you that because two people can write at once. Yeah. Any questions, anything that you might want to use it for that you're like, I don't know if it will do that. You can ask us and we'll let yes, you know. Yes, Rowan. Um, so you come over to me. No, you're good. Just use it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So one here, three downstairs, one over there, and there will be more upstairs. That one that's right there, it normally lives like all the way in the back corner over there by the windows. So that one's, I feel like, available all the time. I've actually yeah, never I've seen never seen. Turn it I've on, seen them so. used a handful yeah. of Power times. Power button you? down here because I don't think anyone turns it on. Yeah, that's the issue there also. Can you get rid of Chrome, please? Sure. Just at the X. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. So this is what it looks like home. This little blue button, it'll be red if it's off and plugged in. You just click it, and then you'll be set to use it. And this is what it looks like as soon as you pull it up. So if you want to write on it, it's just the whiteboard. My whiteboard, yep. yep. Yeah. I know you had your computer connected earlier. I did. Um, so that's a good question. This is a different, oh my gosh. This is a different program. This is just a VCAST program. So tap here for first use. If you follow these, they can do that for you. Um, and then you'll just, so like I type that code into my computer and then I get my computer up. It does have AirPlay. And the issue I have found though is that AirPlay and hooking it up with your HDMI cable can sometimes cause a smidge of a lag. So like when we were trying to do like timed quizzes, there's a little frustration in the room by some people. Hi. <laughs> so that's how that you would do that. Um, you can also log into things on Google Chrome. So like I've logged into my Canva on that one uh, a couple of times to do work on here and move the big things around because I don't want to look at my little computer. So like you could log into like your Google Slides instead mm -hmm. of like casting it if you needed to. Yeah, if like casting. What is it? So I can get rid of my presentation. You can see all the other things I've been working on. Um, yeah, and I can control. Yeah, I can control exactly what we're doing on here. Um, Here's Kaylin's schedule. My yeah, my homework. <laughs> But we can do things like this and then use the pen and you can just straight. Maybe. I can't reach I can't reach the writing one. But yeah, if I, hypothetically I wasn't five two, I could do that. Um, yeah. So that's also very, very cool about it is you can control it from here. So if I and I know you're a big big Excel Excel user. So we can pull up Excel and show data and time schedule things on it right here so you can have a clear focus and it's not just pull this up on your laptop and then half the people have it pulled up and half the people are on Amazon. Not that I would or ever do that. Playing connections. Playing connections. That's real. Yeah. Questions, anyone? I know you came late, so that's okay. Does anybody want to play with it at all? We can hand it over. We will hand it over. We'll also plug in the other one if you want to experiment and use it, and we will be here to help things. It took us, we just took time to sit and use it I'm for still learning. a long I'm time. I'm it for the first time this week. So. <laughs> we would just, we sat for like, I sat for like two hours my first time and learned every little niche thing, because sometimes I forget that you have to use the pen and not your finger for certain things. And Yeah, so we just encourage everyone to play around with it at some point, because we see some of them not being used, so. A lot of them not being used. Yeah, yeah. So we will plug in the other one somewhere, and probably up here too, so we can help if you need help using it and things. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, that's it then. And then we'll just be around if you need have questions. And also we sit at the desk in the front. So if you have any technology questions. Ever. 
we will be so happy to have someone talk to us. Please talk to us. Thank you. Thank you.